I'm Liz Merrick. I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I own Artisan Cake Company, and I freaking love Halloween. Halloween's the best. One of the reasons I love going to the Halloween store is for the special effects. Like, can you not see that on a cake? I mean, come on. That would be awesome on a cake. I love Halloween because it's like the one time of the year you can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. Nobody thinks it's weird. You can dress up like as gory as you want. Huh? Ugh. And you can involve your kids. <laughs> what is happening? What's happening? <laughs> Ooh, this is so weird. This is too much. They've gone too far. What is that? Oh my god, that's so wrong. <laughs> All right. Just got my two babies here. Congratulations, you're an older sister. I found the most terrifying costume I could find. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's <laughs> okay. I'm scared of babies too. When I'm trying to think of things that I want to be for Halloween, I'm not necessarily thinking about what is the scariest, goriest thing. It's like what is going to mess with people's minds the most. Like I want people to be kind of damaged at the end of the night. Look, Avalon, it's a puppy. Woof, 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 woof. Ready? I'm a puppy. It's a puppy. <laughs> I think I legit just broke my arm. <laughs> okay. I just need some bread, man. You gotta hook me up. Hook me up with some bread, yo. I promise I'll quit tomorrow. I just need some bread this one time. One time. Yo, what? you got some bread? <laughs> oh man, this is a great find. Check this out. Creepy eyeballs that rotate and light up. This will be so good in a cake. Connect up the three sets together. They blink. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're, we're getting these. These are my favorite skulls. Yes, I have a favorite skull. These right here. You can only get these at Halloween. I, trust me, I've looked for them outside of Halloween and they are impossible to find, but these make perfect little skulls for underneath your bust cakes because then you can like add eyeballs and add chocolate over the top and it makes like a perfect little face. Don't you? I make a perfect little face. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my space where I do all of my cake decorating. It's in my garage. <laughs> so I actually remodeled my garage to make cakes in. So it's 90% garage and 10% cake. It's all right though, it works. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the cakes that I've made. This is my favorite so far. I made this cake for um, a yearly Halloween collaboration that I always partake in called Sugar Spooks. And usually I do, you know, really gory stuff like zombies or uh, zombies or Oh yeah, I did zombies every year. <laughs> this is another one of my favorite cakes that I've ever made. His name is Space Dragon. And he is made from cake all the way down from his toes all the way up to the tip of his nose. His eyes are made out of isomalt. His wings are made out of gelatin. His scales are made out of gold leaf and fondant. And see, yep, there's cake in there. He's all dried out now, but he's still awesome. You're still awesome. I love him. 
This is another one of my competition pieces that I'm working on. She is a fairy. She's made out of fondant. I did a new eyeball technique that I've been experimenting with. Yes, there's such thing as eyeball techniques. Her rings are gelatin. Hopefully this one's gonna be traveling with me to uh, the UK to enter in another competition. So I gotta bring it. I gotta bring my A game. I really wanna be on Halloween Wars because I just feel like I was made for Halloween. I just like love the creativity of it. I love the challenge of thinking about incorporating Halloween into cake designs. I feel like I think about it just naturally and that's just who I am. So, you know, please let me be on Halloween Wars. I'm not gonna let you down. I'm gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be super creative. I work great in a team. And most importantly, I like to win. I I win. That, that's important, right? <laughs> Working in your garage has its perks for sure because you're just a couple steps away. The downside is there's always invaders. I had to put this stool right next to my table while I'm working so that she can come and sit next to me while I'm working on stuff. Huh? You want to use your Play-Doh? Alright, you want your tools? Here you are. Okay. And she can work on her stuff while I work on my stuff. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>